How are things? Uh, good, yeah. Well, as good as it can be. Um, like you say, Gisborne Town have let me use their pitch to do do my running on, which is good. Yeah, it must be a weird, weird situation as it is for everybody, but especially for a footballer, it's sort of unprecedented, isn't it, to to be away from the boys for so long? It is, yeah. It's uh, it's very much like pre-season, to be honest. Mm. Um. But it feels like that, you know, just running by yourself or doing your own stuff. Um, but yeah, it's. I think it's the uncertainty of everything that's that's frustrating, or the most frustrating. Yeah, is it made more difficult by the fact there isn't, although there's there's a suspension in place at present until the end of April, it could be a lot longer than that. Yeah, like, like you say, no, but there's no sort of um, definite answer or definite sort of date where we're starting back which is like say something that 21 years I've not experienced and I can't imagine many people have mm. um, so I think that's the frustrating part What's the the message been from the manager I'm guessing it obviously the only real communication you can have as a group is, is via group chats and things like that what's he said to the boys in terms of keeping them or their heads right for, for eventually coming back to, to play football just I think make sure that you abide by um, or listen to what you've been told stay at home uh, stick to your programs you've been obviously given programs that we can get on with um, and do them by yourself but like you say stay safe and make sure that your families are safe and um, I think that's the biggest thing I think football will resume and people will get back to normal but for now it's about making sure that you do everything that you need to to make sure that everybody's um, as safe as they can be, really. How important is that, do you feel? I know all the fans are, are itching to get football back and everyone involved in football wants to see it back sooner rather than later, but sport has to take a, a backward step, doesn't it, when things like this happen? I think so. I think it's, it is difficult, but at the same time, there's uh, more important things that are going on and um, like myself I've got three kids that I have to take care of and make sure that they're safe and like you say my mum my dad um, my grandma just make sure that everybody's at home and like you say next two or three weeks are massive once that's done then we'll probably know more about where we're at and um, I can imagine that things will start getting back to normal sooner rather than later and in the scheme of things, it's not a very long time, but it, it, it seems seems it seems an eternity right now. But um, yeah, we'll be back to normal as like you say as soon as possible. And I think a lot of people have said that the sacrifice is being made for people to to stop in and, and watch TV isn't that difficult as you touched on there compared to, to when the wars were on and things like that. People aren't having to go out to fight; they're, they're having to stay indoors and and watch TV. Yeah, and at the same time, it's not just stay, staying indoors and watching TV. On a nice day like today, you can go out in the garden and potter about, and like it's not like you're confined to the inside of your house. It's just don't go out and mingle with people and um, spread spread the virus. Uh, so I, I just think. Um, like you say, if everyone abides by the rules and everybody sort of stays and looks after their own little, um, their little part, then or plays their own little part in it, then everybody will be fine and we'll be back to normal before you know it. Is your wife a nurse as well? Is that right? Yeah, she is. Yeah, she's she's worked two, three days this week, um, doing night shifts as well, and it's, it's difficult because, yeah. I, like you say, at home with three kids and she's out and the kids are asking why she's going to work and mm. my daughter's very, like, inquisitive, asking questions. So it, it is difficult and she's doing really, really well. Uh, my wife, obviously, going out and she's a paediatric nurse, so she's she's, she's working with kids, but um, she's seeing what's happening and what's unfolding mm. um, firsthand, if you like. I suppose it's times like this as well when you have to take your hats off to, to people who, who are going out to work and, and putting themselves at risk as well and, and obviously 
while everyone else is being told to stay at home, there's, there is a, a group of people who have to go out and, and still work. Yeah, and like you say, that's, they're the heroes, they're the, the true heroes that go out and, um, and have to sort of sacrifice themselves for everybody else. And although people are um, finding it difficult staying indoors, then people are going out and, and doing their job and helping everybody else, which is which is massive, which is something that, like you say, my wife is doing and, and there's, there's thousands out there volunteers as well that are doing it as well yeah i know obviously how important the the time with the kids is for you what has this time done for you in terms of spending that time with them it's rare for a footballer especially for yourself obviously tra- traveling down the the a1 most mornings to have that yeah. this time with the kids it, it's rare and it, it's something that i suppose you can take a positive from it that, that you get to spend that time with them yeah i mean we had the two weeks holidays coming up um but obviously we've got I would have been at work and I would have been at training. Um, so it's nice to spend a little bit, bit of time. These tend to see a little bit of their characters come out, especially with my daughter. Mm-hmm. Um, two lads are out in the garden kicking kicking a ball about. and um, It's difficult for them and it's strange for them. It's something that, like you say, um, they'll probably never experience again, but they're asking questions. Um, so it's important as a father that, that I'm there, that I'm supporting them, that I'm answering them as best as I can, um, and I'm making them feel um, calm and that everything's going to be all right. I think that's massive, reassuring them at their age that, that everything is going to be all right. It's just sort of, uh, we we'll use this time, like you say, and, and spend time together. Um, and yeah, it's enjoyable. As much as it's frustrating and difficult, it is enjoyable spending time with the kids at home um, because, like you say, it's something that I wouldn't normally be doing. Have you had to play the role of teacher then with all the work they've been sent home with from school? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm the worst teacher because, um, yeah, like you said, when my wife's working, I'm trying to sort of, I'm in the garden doing sports with them rather than teaching them how to do maths and English. Um, but they're, they're really good. They crack on themselves. They know what they need to do. Um They've obviously got all their work on the internet and the homeschooling stuff, so they, they are good and they do crack on. My daughter obviously have to help out, um, but my two sons are sort of 12 and 13 nearly, so um, yeah, they've got plenty of time to do it, so um, yeah, they, they are good. On the flip side, I know you mentioned earlier parents and grandparents, how important is modern technology in, in this day and age you, you can call and, and FaceTime and things like that to, to people that you, you necessarily can't go and see yeah it's, it's massive I think my grandma hasn't hasn't got that um, she's 85 and mm. yeah she's not she's not up to up to speed with <laughs> FaceTiming but um, yeah it's important that that we call and we speak to her and same with my mum and dad um, which we've done every day um and even the people around us that live close to us speaking to them as well um from a distance making sure that they're all right uh, obviously if we go to the shop making sure that there's anything that we need to get so they don't have to go and come out of the house i think it's it's important that we sort of um locally help each other out so with the the things that are in place at, at the minute do you think that obviously the big realization needs to be that Although you're you're giving up and sacrificing, not seeing loved ones or some loved ones for a, maybe a couple of months or three months, if it comes to that, that that in the long run the sacrifice is is going to be well worth it. Yeah, I think it's like any anything like what we said at the beginning. Nobody knows how long this is going to go on for. Um, like you said, been told to stay in, indoors for three months, um, especially the older the older generation. So. It will be sort of uh, reassuring that we can get out and we can see them um, at some point. But like you say, I think my dad has obviously visited my gran- grandma. And, um, I think he said he sat in the garden while she sat in the house and they had a chat and they spoke. And um, like you say, I think it's, that's hugely important that we don't isolate them totally. And um, we'll be looking forward to when we can go around and have tea and have dinner together. 
for yourself as well, how big a role of, of Rob and Walsh you had in organising the programmes, for not just you, but the rest of the squad and, and keeping you ticking over and, and whatever you can do, doing it to the max? Yeah, really good. I think it's, it's, it's hugely important that um, although we take this seriously, we, we stay fit and we stay healthy because, like you say, we'll be back shortly. We'll be back, um, or we could be back in the next four or five weeks. Um, so we've got to be taking over and the programmes that we've been given are, are sort of quite straightforward. We can get out and do them. Um, and we report back to Rob, we can send over what we're doing. So he has evidence of of everybody doing it, if you like. But I, I think it's more than that. I think it's just making sure that the majority of the team is fit when we come back and there's no injuries when we do start back. You mentioned it being like pre-season. It, you have to take that responsibility on yourself, don't you? There's only so much uh, trust Rob and Walsh you can put into you before you can do it for yourself. I think as a professional athlete, footballer, that... You need that self-discipline anyway. Like the majority of the people, or the majority of the lads that are in the squad, in the team at Doncaster, um, they are self-disciplined. They will do it. Uh, they don't need a sort of somebody there watching them. The the you need that sort of discipline um, as a professional footballer. So there's no doubt in my mind that everybody will be doing their programs, sticking to it, and working hard to stay fit. Um, we're a competitive lot, and we sort of we've got our, our own group chat going on, and we'll be pushing each other to to stay fit.